Welcome to PC Building Simulator's IT Support Beta. Yeah, this is a new expansion that's going to be coming out eventually. I don't know the exact release date, uh, but if you haven't signed up for the beta yet, it is available to sign up for until June 1st, 2021. And then the beta won't be available after June 2nd, so you have until June 1st, and then you'll get a day to play it. Uh, and, and then it will become unavailable. But, yeah, if you want to play it, and it's not June 1st, 2021 yet, check the description because I will have a link down there to where you can go and sign up on Steam for the beta. Currently, this is only available on Steam, so if you are on console, currently you cannot play this beta, unfortunately. All right, I haven't played any of this at all. I've just started it up. So, it's as new to me as it is to you. Let's go through this together. It says, in the IT expansion, you are a new IT technician at Iritech Corporation. Check your email for your welcome message and next steps. All right. Ooh, look at this place we're in. Oh, this is cool. I got to walk around real quick. Oh, we've already got a an upgrade and a fix? Really? Got a <laughs> page boy color copier. Okay. All right. We'll have to check this place out more. Uh, let's hop into the email, though. Let's see what we've got here. We've got all kinds of emails. This first one says, Congratulations on your new job with Iritech Corporation. You're joining us at a very exciting time. I'm T Elster. Is that how you say that name? I don't know. And I started this company with nothing but a dream, a robust work ethic, and $13.6 million in seed funding for my father. All right. <laughs> Just $13.6 million. No biggie. Chump change. But just a few years later, we're revolutionizing the industry with a bold, fresh approach that leading market analysis have called alarming. <laughs> I'm very proud of everything I've built here, and I'm so glad you decided to join us on our journey. Eurotech may be... A large company, but I take a deep personal interest in the people we work with. I can't wait to see you thrive in your new role as... <laughs> dollar sign new underscore starting underscore role underscore name. But enough for me. Bet you can't wait to get started. The details of your position are included below. IT contractor salary is one of our... External IT support technicians, you can look forward to receiving a wide variety of jobs from the highly trained staff of Iritech Corporation and its subsidiaries. Requests will come in via Ticket, our IT ticketing system. You'll be paid for each completed ticket with the exact amount calculated automatically based on the tasks involved. For most jobs, Iritech will ship the computer directly to you. Where this is not possible, you may be required to travel off-site. Please note that lunch will not be provided. <laughs> oh man, no lunch? Oh, that's a bummer. Staff will be encouraged to submit feedback on every ticket you complete, rating their satisfaction with your work. Just think of it as exciting professional development opportunity. Due to previous incidents, Iritech has been forced to centralize printing resources in a single secure location, your workshop. <laughs> Staff will need to use this printer, so please keep it in working order. At the end of the day, make sure to exit through the door provided. Do not attempt to leave the workshop via the windows. Okay. <laughs> Once again, congratulations on joining the fast-growing, dynamic company. I look forward to working with you. What is this? Recipient of Gold Sustainable Certificate Self-Assessed. <laughs> Winner of Tech Force's Best Place to Work Awards. Oh, my. All right. Let's get rid of that email. Lots of emails. Oh, my gosh. Why are these so long? This one says, you're the new IT tech, right? Hope you last longer than the last one. It's a real shame what happened to him. I'm Natalia. I work nights basically the same as you, but darker, quieter, and spookier. That goes for me and the job. Looks like they've given you the workshop next to the main office. Bright and airy. Doesn't exactly fit my aesthetic, but if it works for you, then it's all yours. As far as the day-to-day -day goes, I assume you know what you're doing. But feel free to assign me any work you don't have time for. Or that you just plain don't want to do. I won't judge. I know there's only so many times you can explain how to connect to the VPN without wanting to start shoving people into the nearest paper shredder. Besides, I could always use the extra money. 
Just don't assign me any of the onboarding jobs for new starters, okay? You might miss something important, and I've got better things to do than act like a tutorial in a video game. One last thing, we use tablets here to manage the workload. It's a lot easier than going back and forth to your computer. Every time you need to check an email, I'll get one set up for you during my next shift. It should be with you by tomorrow morning. That's all I guess. Good luck. Try not to go crazy on your first day. Here's something from Uncle Tim, who's apparently cooking up a new business venture. All right. Bet you can't wait to get started, but I've had a bit of an incident. I'll explain in the notes below. I need you to reinstall typo word processor, boring but necessary, sell out. We love a good spreadsheet. Document reader for opening PDFs. You could also uninstall cookbooks and data mine. I don't need any of them. By the way, can you do anything about all this dust? I tried myself, but it didn't go so well. Okay, we can do that. Requesting an urgent fix for my computer. The power supply seems to have shorted out. I also strongly suggest you upgrade the available memory to 16 gigs. I'll leave it with your discretion, but I can't promise it won't come up in your next performance review. Okay, $500. All right, let's go grab these PCs. Let's see what the heck's going on with these. It's a, oh, it's a tiny little PC. This is a big shop. I feel like, I, oh gosh. I feel like I need to sprint around. It's so large. Uh, so what's up with this RAM? That doesn't work. That doesn't work like that. Uh, let's get some compressed air and clean this beast first. Tired of reading emails. It's time to get to work. This is more fun than reading anyway. Come on. What kind of dust is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Holy cow. Uh, I want to fix this RAM first. Is this going to drive me nuts? Memory. There we go. All right, let's power this on. I'm going to hop into the BIOS real quick. I doubt there's anything exciting going on in there. A Ryzen 3 3100. Don't think that's going to do anything. Only got the uh, one tiny little hard drive. Cookbooks and data mine. I think they wanted both of those uninstalled. Yeah, uninstalled data mine and cookbooks. We can do that. Let me get grab a USB drive and get that installed here. And then we'll go here to add remove programs. Let's remove these first. Data mine. Cookbooks. And then they want... What was it? So many. Typo, sellout, and document. Typo. Sellout. And document. Let's restart this. Maybe. Man, it is slow. It is slow. Let's get the side panel back on because this is done. So is this over here the delivery area? It is. It is. So that is in the delivery area. Let's see what's going on with this one. Replace the PS... Wrong side of the case. <laughs> I opened up the wrong side of the case. I gotta zoom in on this tiny little thing. Let's see what's plugged in here. That needs to go. Then, where's this one little wire? That one? Nope. It's that one. So let's get that out. Let's see. Let's see if it's broken. Power supply is broken. Cooler Master 550. Let's get one of those. When does this need to be done by? End of the day, two days from now. Okay. Power supply, Cooler Master, 550. Was it a bronze? I think it was. I think it was this one right here. We've got one in the inventory. Our inventory should be basically empty. Uh, I'm going to do next day delivery just to save some cash. It says we've got two days. 
So I think we'll be good. Uh, let's go ahead and buy it now. And then I think... Let's collect this. Let's see. You're a star. Everything's back and it's clean. So which app did you use to remove the dust in the end? There's no app for that, sir. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So we're good with that. Let's discard that. Uh, I'm going to leave that like it is. How do we end our day here? Is it over here? Leave the workshop. End the day. Go to work. Oh, here's our tablet. Good morning, sunshine. How was your first day as part of Iritech family? I kid, honestly. It felt gross just typing that. I swung by during my shift last night and dropped off your new tablet. I assume you found it already. It's basically everything you need. Email, purchasing, etc. The most important, which is ticket, everyone. Oh, whenever anyone at Iritech has an IT issue, it gets added to ticket so we can... Figure out how to deal with it. It's actually pretty useful for staying organized. You can drag tickets to different columns. We'll have to figure all that out as we go. Uh, if you got one you don't want to deal with, just drop, drag it over to the night shift column. Complete tickets get cleared at the end of the day, so just keep up with work. Things should go pretty well. What is this? Oh, and there's one more secret feature which you can activate by shouting insults at a ticket and the brainless corporate drone who sent it in. Give it a try. It doesn't do anything, but it does make me feel better. All right. Run, clean it, fix the printer. So we go to Ticket. So that was a long email. I didn't even bother to read it. They just want us to install Clean It Pro and give it a once-over. They've got some forms to print off, and the printer isn't working. Probably a paper jam. Maybe it's restarting. Still doesn't work after that. I usually just hit it. I want to run a virus scan, too. I accidentally visited a website that was very not safe for work. All right, so there's the PC. Let's go throw this over here. And then we've got, we've got that. Let's see what's going on with this printer. Uh, click to bash. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. Uh, should I just open all the paper trays? I mean, they've all got paper. Power button. Did that fix it? Maybe I should bash it bash it a few more times. <laughs> Oops. I guess it's fixed. I guess it's fixed. Okay. Let's work on this PC. We need to put this new power supply in. And I did order the right thing, so that's good. Everything's all connected automatically. And does it boot? No boot device. Well, isn't that just great? It, I mean, there's a hard drive. Oh, that's an SSD. Okay. Okay, let's power this down. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't cable it up. Maybe I didn't cable it up. That could be part of the problem. Okay. Okay, this one's good to go. Let's get this case put back together. And we'll place it in the delivery area. There we go. That's done. So do I need to do anything on the tablet? Um, so I can just go ahead and collect that. Computer's working, but it seems you forgot about the memory upgrade. Oh, I did forget about the memory upgrade. It didn't say anything about that. It's fine. <laughs> it's just fine. Um, so this they want clean it pro. Is there anything wrong? This is this is spotless inside. So let's fire this up and go ahead and put the side panel back on. And we need to add or remove programs and clean it pro. Where is that? Clean it pro. There it is. We'll let that slowly install. Very slowly. And slowly reboot as well. Okay, so Clean It Pro. Welcome to Clean It Pro. When was the last time you felt clean? 
Click start to search for and remove unnecessary files. Okay. Cleanup complete. Was that it? That's all they wanted done, huh? Okay. Uh, let's pull up the tablet in progress. Thanks for the help with the files. But I don't think you did the virus scan. Why isn't why isn't this stuff in the objectives? Uh, you're not going to tell anyone about my little NSFW accident, are you? Um, no. Nope, I'm not. Okay, so that's that's all of that. So I guess I need to uh, pay better attention to. To the email because it seems as though uh, they tell you to do stuff in the email and it doesn't get added to the objectives. So typo needs to be installed. There was something else I can only connect to computer network every third Wednesday, which isn't great. Blinked might be able to help. So see, that's not down here about blinked. Need you to install an image editor. See, why are these emails so long? <laughs> like, that's a lot of reading just to try to figure out the extra things they want done. The IT support onboarding doc says you can use will it run to check. Okay. So, go to ticket. So, we need to check will it run for the minimum specs for mugshot CC. Which I'm guessing is kind of like Photoshop. Uh, so minimum spec for mugshot, mugshot CC, minimum spec, eight gigs of RAM and an i5-6600. So what does this thing have? Who knows? Uh, maybe it says it in here. PC stats, quad core 3100 and eight gigs of RAM. So let's go to the shop. Go to graphics cards. 1050 Ti. And let's just do price ascending. Because we'll just do the cheapest, I believe. Because they're all 4 gigs. So let's add that to the cart. Because we're going to need that. And then what do we need... Document installed. Typo needs to be installed. And then something about blinked. So let's go to this PC. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a USB drive in this because we need to install things. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious about anything going on in their BIOS. There we go. We'll turn XMP on for sure. And then, what did we need to install? Document and typo. So let's come down here to document and typo. Where is blinked? Is that an app? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Blinked. Let's get that installed. See if we can't fix this with Blinked. Whatever Blinked is. Blinked. The internet's a terrible place. Let Blinked take you there. <laughs> Click start to analyze and optimize. Network adapter configuration. Is it doing anything? Are these supposed to light up? Connection established. Okay, great. Does that mean it's fixed? I think it does. So let's see.
Cheers. Looks all good now. So then we've got this one where we need to make sure... Oh, that's the one we're waiting on. What's this? I think it's this one that I still haven't done. No? With the backlog? Need a better graphics card. So is this another one that needs a graphics card? Tried ordering it myself, but they're never bloody well fit. So make sure you check before you waste my money on something too big for the case. By the way, I'll be out of the office this afternoon. Okay. So let's take a look at this. It's definitely going to take a tiny little graphics card. Does it say what to upgrade? I didn't see what they wanted it upgraded to is the problem. They just need a better graphics card. A better graphics card than a 1030. Okay. I mean, a lot of graphics cards are better than <laughs> better than a 1030. So we've got a 1050 Ti coming in for this, and then this little dinky Rage and Tech case. What's what's the biggest? Let's go down here to cases. We've got, yeah, it's this one. It's this little case, so 170 millimeters. Let's go to graphics cards. Can we search by length? We can. Uh, what about 150? So the best we can get would be like a 980. Because I still think a 980 is probably better than a 1050 Ti. Was there a budget? Was there a budget for this? Pay six fifty. I don't see any actual budget, so let's just order a nine eighty and see what happens. So that was two days. What was the time on this one? No time. No time. So we'll just do next day delivery. Go ahead and buy it. I'm going to go into the day and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So we got two more things in. Uh, here's our delivery. So let's see if we can actually fit. This 980 in this tiny case. So we've got the 980, in we go. It doesn't need any cabling? That's interesting. Make sure it can boot, because that's important. So I think this one's done. Well, let's put the PCI lock back on it. And the side panel. And this thing is ready to go out here to the delivery area, and then I think we can collect for that one. Let's bring this back up. Go back to ticket. This for the better. Yes. I see you didn't run a virus scan. Son of a gun! There's so many little hidden things in these long, long, long emails. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's actually a little irritating. Uh, this. This we were putting in the 1050 Ti. So I think that's good. Let's power this on. Was there anything special I needed to do with this one? They needed Mugshot CC. I did will it run. Process is probably fine. Um, they want me to go fix the printer again. Uh, 
That's paper. That's got paper. That's got paper. That's got paper. Uh, does it need to be bashed again? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Apparently, it just needed a good bashing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, let me get another USB drive in here. And they wanted mugshot CC. Did, did I pass it? There it is. I sure did. I zipped right by it. Let's restart this. Maybe? Maybe is it going to restart? There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get this case put back together. And I think this one is done. This one's done. I'm not going to start another job because this recording's getting long. Uh, but... I'm probably going to play a little bit more of this while it's still in beta, and I'll get at least another recording out of it. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's collect this. Let's see if I screwed this up. You're honestly my angel right now. I can't wait to get onboarding. Started and finally meet you in person. Won't be long now, I promise. Okay, so then we've completed those. We've got a backlog of these two, which we will probably get to in the next episode. Let's see if there was anything on the computer I needed to do over here. I can discard that email. I can discard that one. And then these are the two for the next episode. All right, let's close all that out. Okay. This is definitely a, a, an expansion that just keeps going and going. I mean, as soon as you end the day, you get more, more in. It's actually quite fun. Emails are long and require really paying attention to what you're reading. Because I bypassed... So many little things that weren't included in the ticket. So that's that's an interesting uh, new mechanic uh, for a PC building simulator game because usually everything in the normal career mode, everything that needs to be done is included, and in here it's not. So I'll have to start reading through these long emails a little bit better, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's definitely something new and something different. So far this seems quite fun. And hopefully you'll go check it out. Like I said, there is going to be a link down in the description of this video to where you can go sign up for the beta. You can only sign up through June 1st, 2021. So sign up quickly so you can play for as long as possible before they take the beta down. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can notify it as soon as the video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me and my channel, there's a link to Patreon down in the description. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.